Welcome to the Half Done Hobbyist. My name's Simon and I'm very happy you've joined me. Now you might have recently seen my unboxing of Zarek the Silent King for the Necrons and while he's a beautiful model, he was a complete pain to put together. So I wasn't really looking forward to building the Canoptic Doomstalker. So I had a little look at the box and it turns out it's easy build. So not only is it easy build, it's push fit. Here's the Canoptic Doomstalker. This has to be the most complex push fit model that Games Workshop have done. If anyone knows any differently then stick it in the comments below and we can have a chat about it. But um, I don't think this will take me long, so let's get started. Let's have a look at the box. It's a good looking model, it's just a bigger version of the reanimator with a huge gun on top. When I first saw this model I thought it would be the same size as the reanimator but it's actually much much larger so this is a good thing. I'll do a comparison with a knight just at the, the end of this video so that you can see just how big he is. So let's open the box. A big base, obviously push fit, so it's got the holes in it, and we've got a two pager for putting them together. Three steps, so that's how easy this is expected to be. And look at this, hardly anything on the sprue. And this bit here must be the single biggest, spindliest bit I've ever seen in a Games Workshop model. Looks good, let's get started. Probably the longest part of this will be actually finding the bits. That was an absolute nightmare on the Silent King, but we're already off to a better start. It's not just building, of course, you do have to clean it off, so you'll be wanting to run a, a knife or a mould line remover along the edges of all the bits, just make sure they're smooth to the touch. If you can run a fingernail along them and it doesn't catch, then you're doing well. So there's no messing around in this kit, it just gets straight in there. Not much to it at all. I'm going to do it without glue. If it doesn't turn out to be sufficient, I will glue it afterwards. I used to give my models a cursory clean just once over, but now I'm pretty thorough with it because there is nothing worse than your paint job being ruined by a big ugly mould line right in the middle of an armour plate or something like that. If you know it's going to be hidden, then fair enough, don't spend much time on it, but if you know it's going to be out in the open, take the extra few minutes it would take to clean it up to the best of your ability, and you will be thankful for it at the end. I've been having a wee think about the monopose nature of these kits, and I don't think it matters at all. The Necrons are meant to be relentless robots, so if all these big robots are the same, I think it actually plays into the whole look and feel of the Necron army, makes it feel numberless and that they could just replace them at any any moment with another one exactly the same. So if you kill one big beastie, one will, another one will step into its place, or the same one will step into its place. I, I don't know, I've not read about reanimation or anything like that yet, but I will. If this really is push fit and doesn't leave any huge gaps like the Stormcast Eternal models, I'll be most impressed. Step one. Right, onto the big gun now. There is no messing around with this, no extraneous steps, it's just straight in there. As you can see the pegs go together. That's a good fit, Not, no line or anything like that, so that'll do it. If you find any of the curved bits have separated a wee bit, add a dab of glue and run your mould line remover along the, the edge and it kind of blends it in, just like this. makes a really nice fit. I would recommend having a mould line remover and a knife because they both have their uses. Good thing with this being push fit is if anything goes wrong you could take it apart and start again. So these bits go in here. We'll get the other side of the main body clipped out. Easy peasy. So just like that in like six or seven minutes. That's how far we've got. 10 and 11. I don't know if the push fit nature of this was mentioned when it was announced but it's blown me away absolutely blown me away 
if anyone was uh, umming and eyeing about getting into the hobby at any time because it was too difficult to put things together, I'd say now's the time. They've put so much work into making it a lot more accessible to people, including people like me. I've got a few motor issues these days, so um, anything that's a, a bit easier on my hands is welcome. This bit pops in, just pops in here, and there's a peg here that pops in there. You've probably all gathered, but I'm absolutely fascinated with how this goes together. I mean, how quick is that? Ten minutes. Got about six pieces left. This wee bit's a wee bit tricky. It's difficult to get enough force to force to put these wee pegs on. Probably an act to it. That's good enough. So, here we go. Lost me a bit of time there. On to page two. Let's get the big boy out. So that is one big bit. That's also where most of the time will be saved because there's not a lot to do on this to clean it up and get it into shape. But if you had to put the legs on individually, it would have been a bit of a an effort. Be careful not to snip the pin off there. Just put the legs on, which is the main part of it. Cut this wee bit off here, and this wee bit pops on. Just back here. And that wee bit there is very important because it's also got the pin for basing on it. There we go. And that's it. We have one built Caniptech Doomstalker. And I have to say, that was a joy. An absolute joy. I'm so happy with that. That's amazing. There's a height comparison between the Doomstalker and an Imperial Knight. And they're the same height before you take into account the, the Knight's missile launcher on top of its carapace. So it's pretty big. It's obviously a lot more spindly than a Knight, but it's a tall model. This build, start to finish, took me less than 20 minutes, which is incredible. My recommendation for this model, if you've got a Necron army, would be buy it. Just buy it for the push fit nature and the quick build. It'll take just as long to paint as a, a normal multi-part model, but it was an experience, put it that way. So thanks for joining me in this very quick video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers, bye bye.